Okay, so uh, I made this video to try and help a friend figure out pixel art. Uh, first thing I have to say is make the original uh, size uh, the size you want to work with. So if you want to work with like a teeny tiny 50 by 50 or a larger 200 by 200, you have to keep that in mind. I'll do 100 by 100. And the rest of the settings can be default. That doesn't matter much. Uh, I'm gonna zoom in. Uh, second thing you wanna do is make sure that you are on the pencil instead of the brush. Because when you do the brush, you'll get this nice uh, blurry pixelization, which is actually very nice in larger Im images because it makes it smoother. But that's not what we want here. This is the pencil brush. Uh, try and work with just the one pixel by one pixel. It usually ends up nicer. Uh, do the same with your eraser. Change that from brush to pencil. So it will erase without giving off that crazy blur effect. Alright, now for the resizing, I have an image that I drew. Uh, it's very beautiful. <laughs> This pink rabbit thing. Uh, I'll go ahead and zoom in so you can really look at it. Uh, now when you zoom in really close, this is 1600%, you can actually see the outlines in Photoshop. They're very faint, but they'll show you each pixel. The lines between each pixel. It's very nice. Anyway, zooming back out. Eventually they'll disappear and we're going to resize it. So go image, image size, uh, try to do the pixels and not the percent or the inches because you don't want it to look wonky. And what I mean by that is you want to keep it at a uh, like a nice round number. So instead of doing something like uh, 225 pixels, uh, which when you zoom in, you'll realize that the program is trying to figure out what to do with the pixel space and just add it in by itself, which is not something you want. Uh, so you want it to be like, let's see, this was 100 originally, so we'll do either 200, which looks the same but twice as big, or we'll do like a 500, which will also look the same, a little bit bigger. But you see how it's not doing that uh, weird thing where it tries to put the pixels in its own place on its own. That's good. Now, the way that I got this was, uh, instead of going for your automatic resize or your bilinear, which makes it blurrier when you make it bigger. You want to get the nearest neighbor, uh, in parentheses, it's hard edges, and that will keep it as a pixel art, no matter how big you put it. So I can do, let's do a thousand by a thousand. Ah yes, beautiful. Hit okay. I'm gonna zoom out. This is it at 100% now, nice and crisp. Uh, and that's how you do it. I recommend keeping the original file, of course, in case you accidentally resize it uh, the way you don't want to and you can't get it smaller. Uh, hopefully this helps. All right, 